So there are several medications that are in, in the pipeline uh, that are being tested. Uh, there is one very exciting medication uh, that is being tested in several epilepsy centers for the treatment of uh, uh, refractory to refractory status epileptic rates, which is a very severe form of epilepsy. Uh, we're looking forward for that drug to become available because it's going to, I think, transform the way we approach uh, uh, you know, the treatment of status epileptic. Other uh, interesting uh, uh, changes that we're uh, trying to target uh, medications uh, to some of the pathogenic mechanisms that may be associated with the seizure disorder. One of them is the uh, inflammation fear of epilepsy. So that there, there is an attempt to develop drugs that uh, have uh, anti-inflammatory properties. And those are uh, you know, possibilities that could potentially result in a different type of drug. Uh, we have seen in the last two years the advent of a new drug that is with a different mechanism of action. And so as you can see, you know, the, the, the portfolio of, of drugs based on different mechanisms of action is expanding. A big unmet need, I think, more in the, the social domain is the education of the population patients and society about what epilepsy is, what uh, uh, can be done for the management of the seizure disorder. Uh, there is a big unmet need for educating the population in recognizing the uh, prevalence of comorbid medical, cognitive, and psychiatric complications and the fact that there are treatments for those conditions. And I don't think we're doing enough to educate the society to get rid of the stigma that is still prevalent 